Welcome to the legal framework of occupational safety and health in Malaysia. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to achieve the following objectives. First, outline the legal framework for the regulation of safety and health in Malaysia. Second, describe the most important sections and related penalties in the Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994. The evolution of legal framework of OSH in Malaysia was initiated by Boiler Safety before 1914. On the 1st January 1914, all the steam boiler enactments were replaced by the Federal Machinery Enactment. All the machinery enactments used before 1953 were then replaced by Machinery Ordinance 1953. In 1967, Factories and Machinery Act or FMA 1967 was approved by the Parliament. FMA 1967 was developed to further expand the provisions of machinery safety and improve weaknesses that exist in the Machinery Ordinance 1953. The approaches of the FMA 1967 are number one, Control of machine operations. Number two, control of work environment. Number three, control of personnel. Occupational Safety and Health Act, or OSHA, was enacted in 1994 to strengthen the legal framework of OSH in Malaysia in order to achieve the following objectives. Number one, to secure the safety, health, and welfare of persons at work against risks of the activities at work. Number two, to protect persons at place of work other than persons at work against risks of the activities at work. Number three, to promote an occupational environment for persons at work which adapts to their physiological and psychological needs. Number four, to provide the means to be progressively replaced by a system of regulations and approved by industry codes to maintain or improve the standards of safety and health. There are seven regulations listed under OSHA 1994. Number one, Employers' Safety and Health General Policy Statements Exceptions Regulations 1995. Number two, Control of Industrial Major Accident Hazards Regulations 1996 Number 3 Safety and Health Committee Regulations 1996 Number 4 Classifications, Labeling and Safety Data Sheet of Hazardous Chemicals Regulation 2013 Number 5 Safety and Health Officer Regulations 1997 Number 6 Use and Standard Exposure of Chemical Hazardous to Health 2000 and number 7 Notification of Accident, Dangerous Occurrence, Occupational Poisoning and Occupational Disease 2004 OSHA 1994 consists of 15 parts Let us highlight the most important sections and penalties if a violation occurs under OSHA 1994. In section 16, it describes the duties of employer and self-employed person to formulate the policy. Section 17 discusses the duties of employer to persons other than their employees, while section 18 is the duties of occupier persons other than their employees. Section 24 discusses general duties of employees at work. For instance, number one, to take reasonable care for the safety and health. 
Number two, to cooperate with his employer. Number three, to wear or use at all times any provided protective equipment. And number four, to comply with any instructions or measures on occupational safety and health. Section 25 describes the penalty for a person who intentionally, recklessly or negligently interferes with or misuses anything provided in pursuance of this act shall be guilty of an offence and shall, on conviction, be liable to a fine not exceeding 20,000 Malaysian ringgit or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years or both. Section 28, 29 and 30 explain the medical surveillance, safety and health officer and safety and health committee respectively. Section 32 emphasizes on notification of accident, dangerous occurrence, occupational poisoning and disease and inquiry. Any act or omission which contravenes any provision of this act can be punished with the penalty of offence, which is 10,000 Malaysian ringgit and or one year imprisonment. If continuing offence occurs, 1,000 Malaysian ringgit per day or part of a day if offence continues after conviction. You have listened to several points regarding legal framework of OSH in Malaysia. Now let's conclude our lesson. First, OSH legislation has its own evolution which aims to improve safety and health practices in Malaysia. Second, employers and employees should be aware of their responsibilities at the workplace as stated in OSHA 1994 in developing and sustaining a safe and healthy working environment. Thank <laughs> you.